Hey, what's going on? Jake here with Uncommon EDC, taking a look at the Best Tech Knives Slasher, $63. Got this in the Going Gear subscription. It's a crossbar style locking knife that is often compared, for obvious reasons, to the QSP Penguin. Has that similar sheep's foot style blade, but more than that, it's a very similar size. The base models are similar materials. You got that D2 with the micarta handles. and. Overall, a similar shape, but not exactly the same. I do feel that the Best Tech Slasher has a little bit more stylization, whereas the Penguin's really flat. This one has some nice contouring, and in theory, should be a little bit more comfortable. I will show it next to the Penguin a little bit later in the video, but the other major difference being that crossbar lock. So the Penguin's default model is a liner lock. I think they've done a button lock as well. Don't think they've ever done a crossbar style lock, but I'm not 100% positive about that. That's going to be a pretty major shift in how you use the knife, though, in terms of deployment and locking and all of that. And so the crossbar style lock is considered the safer of the two because your fingers are out of the path of the blade. I don't really have any issues with the safety of liner locks, but in theory it's safer, especially if you're not as comfortable handling knives if you're handling it to someone who's not a knife person. In theory, this one should be a safer style. The other thing about it is that it's a little bit more fidgety. So not only can you use it to unlock the knife and close it, but you can also use it as a deployment method. So when you pull back on that, you see the blade starts popping out. So just a little bit of wrist is gonna get you open and closed. So the last major difference is gonna be on the deployment when you're using the thumb stud or if there's another deployment method, that deployment method, but with the thumb stud specifically, is that you're really losing the detent that you get with a liner lock. And so sometimes they're softer, sometimes they're weaker, but with liner locks, you always have some sort of detent. And with this, you don't really, you just have this kind of mushy, springy action that you have to get past. And once you get past a certain threshold, you see it doesn't spring back in, but if you only open it a little bit, it's gonna spring back closed. And so you're always gonna get that with the crossbar lock. And for me, when using the thumb stud, it doesn't feel quite as satisfying. The action on this is excellent. It works perfectly fine. It just doesn't feel as snappy as a liner lock. So that's really gonna come down to preference. Now, dimension-wise, also very similar to the Penguin. You have a 3.125 inch blade, obviously sheep's foot, flat grind, about 0.12 inches behind the spine, and really nice stone wash on it. I think Best Tech does a good job on their stone washes. I think it looks pretty nice. Micarta handles here. Again, these are a little bit more contoured. You have a four inch handle. And so that's just about right for a four finger grip for me. You're a little bit further back from the blade. And so it's a tight grip. I don't have a lot of room to spread out, but can get my four fingers on there. My thumb does land properly on that jumping. Not my favorite jumping. It's does grab onto your thumb a little bit, so it's definitely somewhat effective, but I would prefer a little bit more of an aggressive jumping, and also for it to go out a little bit further. Now, overall length is 7.125 inches. It does have steel liners. It's not super light, not super heavy either, 3.5 ounces. And let's get the Penguin out just so we can look at those major differences. So the Penguin, I have a kind of base model, D2 steel also, obviously both have that sheep's foot style blade. I like the look of the Best Tech a little bit better, obviously one stone wash and one satin, but just kind of the lines on it look a little bit better to me on the slasher. Now the placement of the thumb studs I think is a little bit better on the Penguin. You can see this one comes up just a little bit to the end of that cutting space, whereas the Penguin is tucked a little bit further back. So every once in a while you may get caught up on that thumb stud when making kind of deep slicing cuts. Haven't really run into that issue because I haven't used this a ton for that type of cutting, but in theory, that thumb stud is a little bit in that cutting path. Now, the handles you can see are kind of the major difference here. This one is obviously much more rounded and contoured as I mentioned earlier. They're also slightly different shaped. This one is completely flat. And so big difference there. Obviously you have the lanyard hole here as well. Both have reversible pocket clips though and otherwise kind of a similar profile. I do like the looks of the slasher a little bit better, but I do prefer the Penguin for a couple reasons. And so let's get into those. It does have a reversible pocket clip, deep carry. So it comes in the right hand, obviously orientation, but you can easily switch that over to left hand. They're inset into those handles. Really high profile pocket clip. So it's sticking off the handles quite a bit. I guess I should keep the Penguin here for this part. 
you can see profile wise that the penguin is probably about half as far off of the handle as the slasher. And so that's a pretty big difference. The other difference is that this is really sitting pretty far back to the spine of the handle. Whereas on the penguin, it's really tucked into the, where the palm side of the handle where you'd be holding it. And so what that means is when you're gripping this, and my initial impression was that I feel it, it's not super uncomfortable, but it's, you're definitely aware of it. Now, when you tighten down, if you're using this for long periods of time or you're just white knuckle gripping it, it's extremely uncomfortable. It's a major hot spot and I'm definitely feeling it right in these two kind of knuckles areas and it leaves an indent in your hand, just not a comfortable pocket clip. And so because of that really high profile pocket clip, it sticks out a little more than the Penguin, but more importantly, the placement. I think they placed it here to accommodate this backspacer so that they can eliminate one of the body screws that you see on the Penguin where it has an extra screw, the pocket clip goes here and it has this extra screw on their barrel spacers. Now this one has a back spacer rather than barrel spacers there, and the pocket clip screws are holding that into place. But had they moved it just more in line with the handle, you wouldn't really feel it. And so I, that's a problem with my hands. I think it's gonna be a problem with smaller hands. Not sure about larger hands, I would assume so, but if you have similar size hands to me, smaller hands than me, I think when you tighten down on that, it's just going to be extremely uncomfortable as it is for me. So don't love that about it. Now, the other one's kind of minor in comparison is that I don't find the crossbar lock to be as comfortable as other crossbar access locks that I have in my collection. That's because they did a kind of milling around here where they added several layers. The lock itself is longer than some of the other access locks I have, or crossbar style locks, the access is specific to Benchmade, but crossbar style locks, it sticks out a little bit more, and the milling does add a certain level of grippiness where it really catches on your fingers nicely and makes it so you're never gonna slip off of those. But I do find it a little bit sharp and not painful, uncomfortable, not really anything about it. I'm just really aware of it, and I don't love the experience of the feel of them compared to some of my other access style locks or crossbar style locks. Now, the other thing which may be unique to my knife, I haven't seen anyone else with this issue and when I look at pictures and I've looked at other people's videos, I feel like my lock doesn't go as far as other people's locks. It travels a little bit smaller and I'm not sure if that's true, but it does look like that to me where there's a bigger gap here where this should be sitting a little bit further into the cutout for that lock. And what that means is, and I'm gonna try and do it intentionally here, but it does happen accidentally every once in a while, is when I'm pushing down on here, if I leave my index finger too far in there and it definitely caught on here, not enough to hold the knife. Sometimes it'll hold the knife for a second and then fall off, sometimes it falls off right away. So but my finger will get caught and pinched in there. Now it's not causing any permanent damage, doesn't even hurt just not something that you want when you're using a lock for it to catch on your finger and actually get stuck to your finger. And sometimes it'll leave enough of a pinch there that it's visible for a minute. And just a, another thing where it just doesn't feel like a great experience using that lock, it pinched there again, and you can see where, exactly where it's pinching. So, like I said, not painful, just don't love it. I don't think this knife is really for me. I definitely prefer the Penguin over it if we're comparing them one to one, obviously very different knives. Obviously, I see why people compare them, but very different knives. But I would love to hear if you have this knife, if you have the same experience with the pocket clip, if you have the same experience with the lock. I think the pocket clip is pretty universal, whereas the lock may be unique to the one that I got. And maybe it's just a little bit different and that's why it's pinching me. But I would love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. And especially if you have it, if you ha you've had those same experiences. But thanks so much for watching. As always, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification button. I'll put links to this if you do wanna check it out. It is about $20 more than the Penguin, but if you just prefer the look of it or that crossbar lock, you, you can still pick that up. But you're getting a little bit more value with the Penguin, but I'll still put the links in the description if you're interested in checking this one out. But thanks so much for watching. As always, hope you have a great one. Take care.